Hey there, movie fans. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Movie Mance Double Feature. I'm your host, Scott Movie Mance, and on this show, what I like to do is take two films that would make the dream double feature. Now, these two movies could be back-to-back -back installments in a film series. They could be connected by subject matter. They could have the same actor, actress, director, whatever it is. The whole point is the dream double feature. This is an episode I'm really excited about because these are two movies I love to put together. So this is really the perfect place to do it. Let's just start with the first film, which is really, you know, the greatest movie ever made. And yes, I am talking about Citizen Kane, directed by Orson Welles. Came out on September 5th, 1941. Was written by Orson Welles and Herman Mankiewicz. It was an Oscar winner for Best Original Screenplay. And it got eight other Oscar nominations for Best Picture, Best Director, Acting, and Editing, among others. So what would make the perfect movie to go with Citizen Kane? Well, how about The Social Network, directed by David Fincher, came out October 1st, 2010, screenplay by Aaron Sorkin, winner of three Academy Awards for Best Adapted Screenplay, Editing, and Original Score, five additional nominations for Picture, Director, Actor, and Cinematography, among others. On the surface, they may not look all that much alike, but they have so much in common as I am going to now discuss with you on the Movie Man's double feature. For one thing, both movies were nominated for Best Picture. They should have won Best Picture, and they both lost Best Picture to lesser films. 1941 Citizen Kane lost the Academy Award for Best Picture to How Green Was My Valley, while The Social Network in 2010 lost its Best Picture to The King's Speech. They're both good films, but I've seen them once and I'm done. Whereas Citizen Kane and The Social Network I've seen many, many times and they deserve to be discussed over and over again. Next, both movies are based on real people. Now, Citizen Kane is loosely based on William Randolph Hearst, the newspaper magnate who was so threatened by Citizen Kane that he refused to allow the film to be advertised in any of his newspapers. He wanted to bury the film. He wanted to destroy the movie. Then in The Social Network, not loosely based on Mark Zuckerberg, it is Mark Zuckerberg. And ironically, compared to Hearst, who refused to have his movie advertised in his newspapers, the social network wound up being heavily advertised on Zuckerberg's social network Facebook by people who saw the movie and loved it and told other people to see it. Great word of mouth. Next, both movies deal with information. In Citizen Kane, Charles Foster Kane ran an empire of newspapers. Now, what do people get out of newspapers? Well, they get information. In The Social Network, Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook. And what do people get out of Facebook? That's right, they get information. Next, both movies deal with protagonists who lost themselves. In Citizen Kane, Charles Foster Kane, he was really likable, at least at the very beginning. He had this idealistic dream to create this newspaper and a bunch of newspapers. He had the very best of intentions who got so big and so powerful that he lost touch of why he got into this business in the first place. And his empire got so big that it corrupted his soul and he ended up alone. Then in the social network, Mark Zuckerberg, not nearly as likable as Kane was at the very beginning, but his empire got so big that it corrupted his soul and he ended up alone. Next, both films have loyal friends who were betrayed and screwed over. In Citizen Kane, Joseph Cotton plays Jedediah Leland, who was so loyal to his good friend Charles Foster Kane until he winds up getting betrayed and screwed over. In The Social Network, Andrew Garfield plays Eduardo Saverin, who was so loyal to Zuckerberg 
until he gets betrayed and royally screwed over for tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Next there's Rosebud. Yes, Rosebud. In Citizen Kane, Rosebud, as we all know, is a sled. In the social network, Rosebud was Erica Albright, the ex-girlfriend played by Rooney Mara. And at the end of the film, you see Mark Zuckerberg refreshing his page constantly to make sure that his ex-girlfriend accepted his friend request. That ex-girlfriend was Zuckerberg's Rosebud. So you see a lot of similarities between Citizen Kane and the social network. The fact is that the social network is the Citizen Kane of the 21st century. So what do you think of these two films? Do they make the perfect double feature? What two movies do you think make the perfect double feature? Thanks so much for watching. Please comment below, like this video, share it with other movie friends, and be sure to check out my other show, Rank and File. Until the next episode of The Movie Man's Double Feature, here's looking at you, kid.